Right now, I pay over £680 a year for Adobe's Creative Cloud apps, which seems pretty expensive when compared to DaVinci Resolve, which you can use for free. And yet, that price is basically nothing when compared to an editing software that most people have never heard of. An editing software that's been used by Hollywood professionals on movies like Avatar and Inception. Let me introduce you, ladies and gentlemen, to Flame. Hi. Made by Autodesk, Flame's special because you can do everything within just one piece of software. In other words, there's no need to link to After Effects or Blender. Which all sounds great, but Flame is a notoriously tricky software to master. It's not consumer friendly at all. But to me, that sounds like a challenge. How hard could something like Flame be, really? Just play where I want you to play. After three days, I made a green screen. I literally don't know how I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I've, I've hit a wall, yeah. So I'm gonna see what makes Flame so special because there's gotta be something under the hood that gives it that hefty price tag. Oh, because how much is Flame? I mean, it, it, can't, be that, it can't be that much money, right? <laughs> That's right, 462 pounds a month. Or there's the option to pay 3,708 pounds a year. Or if you're so inclined, 11,124 pounds for three years. So if I'm gonna use the world's most expensive software, then I've gotta make something that's gonna be remembered for years to come by my children, by my children's children. I'm gonna to have to make the greatest and best video in the whole world, or at least a tribute. That's right, I'm gonna make a tribute to tribute by Tenacious D using all of the effects that Flame has to offer. So the first thing I did, which required no editing software, was record a parody version of the song. This meant coming up with Flame-themed lyrics. This is just a free trial. So I gave those recordings to my cameraman and let him make a beautiful song out of it. So while my free 30-day trial downloads, we're gonna set up the green screen and film some epic footage for this music video. Feeling pretty happy with the footage that we got, I was ready to crack on with Flame and get the learning process going. This is when we hit our first and pretty major hurdle. Oh. What? Flame isn't for Windows. It's for Mac only. No, it's <laughs> Yeah, look at I guess I'll go to my MacBook Pro. The good job you have a MacBook. <laughs> now I consider myself lucky that my laptop is a Mac that's just about powerful enough to run the software. Why isn't it available on Windows? Autodesk, leave a reply. Um, just let me know what's going on. Was it intentional? Do you not like Windows? So I got that on download, again, and I went for a walk, blissfully unaware that this was just the first stalling point in what would become the most challenging editing video I've ever made. It's a new day and I'm back on flame. I've got all of my footage on this hard drive here. So everything that we filmed is running from here onto my laptop. Not ideal, but hey. Flame is, it's comprehensive. I, I don't really know how to describe it. The only thing that I could say when I was asked how I was feeling was- I'm using Flame right now, and I don't really know what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know what I'm doing. And before I knew it, I was already on YouTube looking up how to do the most basic things in Flame, like import footage and cut it up on the timeline, or how to even create a timeline. Even that is complicated. Whoa. In Premiere, it's just as simple as dragging a piece of footage into this empty space, and then it creates a project at that frame rate and size. In Flame, you have to manually create your sequence. Pull your footage in from the different reels. Oh, and by the way, there's no time code anywhere, so don't rely on that. And then when everything is cut up and you want to start adding effects, that's when you go into the batch effects tab. But don't go in too early because you're going to lose some of the other tab options. I, I don't know why. I don't know why. Stuff like this makes Flame feel like I'm going through a maze. I keep going further and further in, and then I turn around. Why isn't that showing now? And then suddenly nothing makes sense. Eh? Even when I got a hold of the basics, like creating a timeline and importing the footage onto there, I ran into so many performance issues. It doesn't want to play anything smoothly. And obviously when you're syncing up a song with footage of someone miming that song, you need it to be in sync. Oh yeah. So after a whole day of just burying myself in flame tutorials and trying to come out with something, I'd only just managed to sync up the footage. And that was it. So I've spent the whole of today getting absolutely nothing done. I've synced up the clips, barely. I don't even think they're synced properly because it's so slow. I just wanna, I wanna throw my laptop out the window right now. Anyway, tomorrow's a new day. I'm gonna feel nice and refreshed and get back on it. A combination of both. That's a straightforward Stop watching Flame, please. Day three of Flame. 
I'm just gonna do a test run. I'm gonna get a really easy piece of green screen footage like this guy's using in this tutorial. I'm gonna follow every single step and I'm gonna key something out. I just wanna key something out, anything. Now, whilst green screening might seem like an incredibly easy thing to do, especially coming from Premiere Pro where it's as simple as just dragging and dropping one of my presets and then everything's done. In Flame, it's node based. Now, I only just touched on nodes the day before this and I had this to say about it. This is all node based. Uh, a lot of 3D softwares use nodes. I know Maya uses nodes. Also Nuke, uh, which is a really popular 3D software, uses nodes. I tried to learn how to use that once and failed miserably because I hate, hate using nodes. So this is gonna suck. So I've clearly established here that nodes are not my forte. And this is probably the biggest problem in the whole challenge. Because if you wanna do anything in Flame, you have to know how to use nodes. Not even just use them, you have to love them. You have to live and breathe nodes to be able to use this software. And by God, did I try. This is the most I've ever struggled editing in my whole life. Not to be helped even slightly by the tutorial I was watching, where the guy would just say, do this. So I'm going to do this. And then not even explain what this is. At one point in this day, I even went to the big man upstairs, hoping that he could help me out. Ben, watch some tutorials. Watch those tutorials, Ben. Get out of here. Get out of here. As the days went on and I used nodes more and more, and I tried to get used to them, I ended up making some node graphs, which may as well be surrealist art. I can imagine seeing this shit in museums one day. I'm talking about some chaotic node graphs. I had no idea what I was doing. This was mainly because I didn't watch the Flame official tutorials. Now this isn't a problem with the software, but more myself. My brain finds it incredibly hard just to sit down and watch boring tutorials for hours on end. This is why I created my editing tutorials and course the way that I have, was to help people with brains like mine. So for me, this was like a form of torture. But as a silver lining to this, the guy Graham who runs the tutorials, he actually explains everything incredibly well. I have a lot of respect for that. So good job, Graham. And thank you for your beautiful voice over those really long videos. Now, when I said, I just want to key something out, anything, well, I did actually manage to key out this incredibly easy green screen footage. So I'd call today a success. Kind of. I did it! <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> now let's continue with the video. <laughs> Now the best part about editing on a laptop is that you can take it anywhere. And that's what I did. So if you press Control M on the keyboard. <laughs> Hello. Now just because I'm editing outside doesn't make it any less difficult. I still faced problem after problem. Anytime I thought I was getting close to green screening something, as well as masking, I'd get this preview unavailable window appear. So I'd watch a tutorial again, do it differently, and then the same thing happens. But not to worry because there's another technique which uses the render node, which I didn't use last time. I'm so silly, but it still doesn't work. Why does it say that? At this point, I feel like I must be the problem here, but for the life of me, I cannot find a solution anywhere. What the fuck? Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> and trust me, with the amount of tutorials that I watched, I gave it a good shot. Yep, I think I ended up watching every single module on the Flame Learning channel for beginners. And yet, I still couldn't do the one thing that was absolutely essential for this project. Green screen. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I've, I've hit a wall. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to stop doing it this way. I've decided that I don't think Flame is gonna be able to do everything that I'm asking it to do. I don't think it's possible to do a mask with an ultra key. If you can, then I don't know how. And I've been looking up how. There is nothing online to tell you how. Trust me. With that in mind, I'm gonna start the project in Premiere Pro. I know I can hear you. I can hear your disappointment. But listen, all I'm gonna do is clean up those green screens so they don't have the edges around it of the actual room, which I can't seem to get rid of in Flame. Then I'm gonna export those videos, drag and drop them into Flame and carry on from where we left off. Call this my one call for aid. My one phone a friend moment in this challenge. 
Hopefully it's a turning point and hopefully I can have some fun now with the software because there's loads of effects in there and I just need to start using them. So I ventured once more into flame, even though I felt absolutely hopeless and that I already knew that the final product would be terrible. I used that footage that I created in Premiere thinking that this would be the one. And so I put on that master key with confidence. And yes, even though it threw up more problems that I hadn't encountered before, like this alpha mask, what, what the f- what is that? Listen, ignore it. Ignore it. Maybe I can save it. Maybe, maybe I just need to make something. There's got to be something I can do. And I did. I tried so hard to make something happen and to make something look good, but just overwhelmed by the amount of time that this took. And all I had to show for it was this. This is not the greatest software in the world. So I made one of the hardest decisions I've ever had to make in my editing career, which was to cut my losses and stop. Okay, I, I get... All right, this time I've, I've given up. I, I don't know how to say this, but I, I completely failed the challenge. I couldn't do it. I'm gonna have to humbly accept my defeat here and just bow down to the flame gods because I, I've spent too long doing this. I've spent like, you know, almost two weeks trying to f just do a green screen, just trying to do a green screen. And I can't even begin to imagine the amount of time I'm gonna need to, to learn the other effects that are more complex than green screens. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I give up. <laughs> I give up. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I know this is disappointing to you because you know, I'm like the, the, world's, the world's best editor. So, you know, it kind of sucks. But you know, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna come out of this challenge empty handed. I did some fun footage. I feel like we can make something out of it still. So in two hours, I'm gonna do the whole thing on Premiere Pro. I've got so much pent up editing energy that I just haven't been able to release. I'm, I'm just gonna splurge it all on Premiere. <laughs> and that's exactly what I did. In just over two hours, I edited the whole thing using only Creative Cloud apps. And it looked pretty cool for such a short amount of time. Flame is geared up for the Hollywood editor, someone who can spend days, weeks, months, maybe even years on just a couple of frames. I mean, this thing is a beast and it's gonna take years to master. Just learning how to use nodes properly requires expert training. And if you don't know how to utilize the effects, then what's the point? I mean, it took me years to learn Premiere Pro to the level that I'm at now. It would be the same for Flame, maybe even more, probably more. Definitely more. The lesson here is that you need to spend a lot of time learning these kinds of softwares. I mean, that's why I created a course for Premiere Pro for beginners. Because I know what it's like wanting to learn how to do something and just having no idea where to start. You can go check out the link in the description if you want to know more about that. So my flame journey was a complete bust, but it wasn't all a loss. This experience has given me a newfound respect for visual effects artists and Hollywood professionals. And of course, I have one of the greatest and most terrible music videos of all time. And here it is. Roll the clip. This is not the greatest software in the world, no. This is just a free trial. I couldn't afford the greatest software in the world, yeah, no. It was expensive, oh. I really wish the software was good, all right. But it's really unaffordable. God, I'm so good at singing. Yeah. If I don't do a get out of here outro at the end, then people get angry. They leave a comment and they say, get out of here, where, where get out of here. So I gotta tell them, get out of here. I get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> You're right, Jack, it would be more effective to tell them to go watch the next video.